Almost, almost doesn't feel like being in, in Indonesia at all actually. It's completely changed it. Could be in the States. Very strange um, layout. This is the first time I've ever eaten with a, with a layer between us. I don't know, I think it might be raw vegetables, like a raw salad. Raw Someone recommended it to us on YouTube, big up. So here we are. If it's not good, well, you're in trouble. <laughs> Alright, Salamat Pagi. We are in Tangerang, uh, South Tangerang to be precise. We're at a place called Kayu Kayu. Really, really beautiful restaurant. We saw it online and we thought we had to come along and uh, give it a go. We're going to try some traditional dishes maybe here. Um, bit upmarket for us, but uh, very, very beautiful. And we thought we'd definitely have to come as we're in Tangerang. We're sat down now. Um, they didn't have what we wanted. Disappointed. Might have to go for something like Ketabra. Beautiful, beautiful restaurant in here. Amazing, amazing layout. All these plants, very beautiful. We're gonna go for some drinks now. I might get a Ketabra or something. It's always nice. It's a bit like Kupat Tau, apparently. So uh, I might go for that. And then at lunch, we're gonna go for something, uh, one of our favorites in Jakarta. Maybe that's a different video. But um, yeah, beautiful in here. Very strange um, layout. This is the first time I've ever eaten with a with a layer between us. So this is like eating between a screen. It's almost like looking through a shop window at someone else. Take it before. Very strange. Beautiful restaurant though. Beautiful. Probably one of the most beautiful places I've seen in a long old time. It's very beautiful. Coffee's great. Mm. Really nice. It took us like 45 minutes to get in because taxi driver, one hour. Taxi driver took the longest route possible. I think I think he I think he didn't think we wanted to take the toll or something. But I was like, I was like, I said to him, I was like, look, visa visa membaya toll. Like we can pay, we can pay. <laughs> and he was like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Ended up taking probably the longest route ever. I think we could have got to Bandung quicker than this. <laughs> Came here because it was kind of closed, but it wasn't closed. I mean, from South Jakarta, it doesn't look very far on the map, but the Caradoc. Um, everyone was telling us to try it, and we hadn't tried it. We tried Kupat Tau a few times because we love it. Um, and people were saying that's like the Ketabrak. I think we might have had the Ketabrak as well at some point, but um, yeah. I mean,. I'm looking forward to trying anything. If it's anything like Caradoc, then it's going to be amazing. What's the difference? Is it raw veggies from this one, veggies and um, cooked ones? We've got to pass, the, pass it between the cameras here. Um, I don't know, I think it might be raw vegetables, like a raw salad. Raw salad with peanut sauce. Sounds good. Sounds like my street. Give a carrot off a try. Mm. That is good. That definitely feels light enough to be a breakfast. I was a bit worried that it wouldn't feel like a breakfast. Okay. I'm sorry, I just say it. Uh, no, we try like stuff like that, like the Hezbollah stuff, it was really good. It tastes so wrong, I don't know, it doesn't taste fruity at all, it just... There were a few in the menu, but then what they, what they had, it tasted like food and that. Not myself. We met a couple of YouTubers the other, week, other day, um, and one of them was a local, um, he's from Java, and he said to us, he said to us, one thing about Indonesia, He's, um, he was going to restaurants and they don't have, not have, not have, not have. And they never have a load of things on the menu. Abyss or not have. <laughs> it's kind of like here. What's in the menu? 
I understand that Leo plays at Leo restaurants, but you know, there, there's more stuff than people here. It's only stuff, in fact. So you now why, why do they need like 100 people for the stuff here? Because there's no people. Very well. Don't let Julia review your restaurant. <laughs> toughest, toughest reviewer on Broadway this run. Well, that was uh, Caillou Caillou. Caradoc was really nice. I don't think Julia was very sure on her ice shampoo. We were supposed to have avocado and fresh coconut in it. Ended up being quite heavy in grass jelly and quite... Sh they didn't have much, much going on really in terms of the breakfast menu. But... Um, very, very beautiful restaurant. Probably one of the most beautiful restaurants I've ever seen. Just uh, menu was a bit of a letdown this morning, but, um, but either way, you know, this is probably somewhere you really want to see, in, at least in your life. And this place is in Tangram, very beautiful. Tony Makassi, thank you. Um, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful. There's a tree growing inside as well. It's stunning. I'm just waiting for a uh, uh, go check now, um, and then we're gonna head to Tangerang Broadway to have a look, have a little wander down there. We are on Broadway. Looks like we're heading to the Broadway. Julia's been looking forward to this the most. She's always wanted to come to Tangerang. <laughs> We've finally come. Someone recommended it to us on YouTube, big up. So here we are. If it's not good, well, you're in trouble. <laughs> no, let's have a look. Whoa, look at this. This is, this is the first reaction to Tangerang's uh, Broadway. Oh, you got, you've got a sign in here. Tag in here. Look at this. It almost looks inspired by uh, Universal Studios. If anyone's seen Universal Studios, got like now playing Back to Back to the Future. Someone four. said uh, in the comments, "Don't expect to see a Broadway theatre." <laughs> Don't expect to see a Broadway theatre. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Thank you. Here we are. Quick temperature check and you're in. Look at this. You know what, if anyone's ever been to Universal or, you know, lucky enough like me, I, I, I was quite a privileged kid in that sense. I'm not from the, my family are the uh, public sector, so you could say working class almost, but um, we did have a trip to Florida and uh, I'll tell you what, it's like, Reminds me a lot of, of, of Universal Florida, like very beautiful. A bit plasticky, but beautiful either way, you know. This, so Back to the Future is, is my favorite film. My favorite film series of all time. Unfortunately, there was no Back to the Future 4, part four. I wish there was. I wish, uh, I wish Michael Fox Michael J. Fox, Michael J. Fox. He didn't get Parkinson's, but he did get Parkinson's. So uh, unfortunately for him, there was never another Back to the Future, which is quite sad. Pisusu. It's a lovely day. Yeah, it almost, almost doesn't feel like being in, in Indonesia at all, actually. It's completely changed it. Could be in the States. I honestly could be in the States. It's, um, it is different. You know what's funny is, is they actually have places like this in the States. It's actually quite common. <laughs> oh, they're doing photo shoots. Let's, let's wait a minute. Oh, can we go, yeah? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, go, oh, yeah. <laughs> Timakasi. In classic fashion, people are always doing photo shoots here and things. <laughs> during, during COVID, this is like completely empty. Yeah, everyone's doing photos, you're walking into everyone's photos here. Fortunately, it's not that many people here, so yeah, it's can quite quiet. Yeah, can you imagine? People must be queuing to take photos. I know. Got the washroom here, so you've got loads of different restaurants. They call this. Uh, bliss of Flavor or something. Bliss, Flavor Bliss, Broadway, or, or something like Flavor Bliss. Along here. All these different places. Flavor Bliss, yeah. And this is, is about a 40 minutes drive outside of Jakarta. Hour and a half if you take the long route. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of nice looking coffee shops here. A few places to dub. Not everything is buka. I don't think I could do with another drink, I don't think. 
I think I'm all, all drinked out at the moment. Too much, too much tea and coffee. They've got a lot of like American things, corn dogs. Corn dogs is also a thing in the States. I mean, I'm no States it expert, looks but. Like it's, um... Yeah, I mean it's a Korean place, but they do call them dogs. It's an American thing, huh? Yeah, it might be a Korean place. <laughs> it's a Korean place. Seriously, so. like, like, it's not even true. It's Korean. <laughs> this is the end. This is the end. saying to me is like is this is this what the states is like Pat and I was like um <laughs> be honest with you some parts of the states are quite like this the thing with this thing with America is the United States doesn't have any history it's it I mean people are going to be angry about them when they hear that but it doesn't have history like Europe has history you know it doesn't have all that history going back you know same can be said for countries out here you know America um North America's fairly new in that sense you know it doesn't age back to castles and and whatnot you don't have castles and things in in North America you know so a lot of their, their, a lot of their history stuff is it just ends up being quite plastic in the States to move to the UK from, right. from the US yeah and uh, all he did on his weekends was like traveling to cities like to Edinburgh and just like any like small city in England has got his like castles. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. Take lots of photos. Yeah, yeah, England's full of that. I mean, Europe is full of that. I mean, look at Italy. Italy, most beautiful country in the world, most beautiful people. <laughs> Especially Sardinians. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, you wouldn't believe that I was in Indonesia for a minute. Though. Felt like I was having a stroll around the Universal Studios or Disney, Disney theme park in the States. Um, me and Julie will go one day and we have a bit more money. YouTube doesn't really pay the bills. You see, unfortunately, that's the truth of it. <laughs> well, South Tangerang's Broadway. If you're in Jakarta, it's definitely worth coming to see. There are loads of nice cafes and restaurants to stop in. Unfortunately, we just had breakfast because the Kayu Kayu place, such a nice restaurant, we had to go and check it out. It really wasn't so big on the food. I mean, the food was all right, but obviously you're there for the aesthetic um, and you're there for the gram. You know, Insta, there was a few people taking a couple of photos here and there, but the aesthetic was cool. But I mean here, you know, if you're looking for a nice walk, it's only about 150 meters, not very long, if that. But um, it's nice. It's a nice little stretch. And uh, it almost definitely feels like, again, you're completely transported out of Indonesia. A bit like Paris Van Java in, um, in Bandung, uh, Jalan Braga. But um, yeah, if you're in the area, definitely come and check it out. It's well worth it. And. Uh, yeah, I, I think the thing is with Jakarta is Jakarta gets very, gets a lot very quickly. It is very populated, overpopulated, and you can almost wonder and see why maybe they want to move the capital. You know, questions need to be raised there. Why do you want to move the capital? Well, because I mean, Jakarta is, is very heavily populated, and I don't know if the infrastructure is there to, to support the city. When you come out to places like this, come out to Tangerang, you can see the, the, the beauty of Indonesia. But just not too far from uh, from uh, Jakarta. <laughs>